Hi guys, so this is another video and it feels great to be back. Um, I think the last video that I recorded was back in December and a lot has been going on. I'm going to talk about a little bit of my personal life and what is going on on at the end of the video because um, this video is gonna be as you can see from the title it's a haul video I want to make it as short as possible because I got a lot of things and I've gone ahead and separated everything as far as things for myself for my daughter things that I got for home and my birthday celebration and Whole Foods and things I got online so I had never been to a Dollar Tree before so this was really exciting to go to a new one that just opened up a few minutes away from where I live. I always see all of these girls making Dollar Tree video hauls and I thought wow those are good things for a great price. Everything there is a dollar and I don't know about where you live but in Miami there are a lot of dollar stores but you go in and things are not really dollar they're like three dollars five dollars so it's just the name to bring you into the store and when i heard that dollar tree was going to open up i was really excited and looking forward to just going in and see what i could find from what i hear from a friend this dollar tree is not as big as the usual ones so i cannot say because like i said i have never been to a dollar tree before and she told me that this dollar tree has more of craft things. I also noticed that a lot of other girls tend to find makeup items at this Dollar Tree. I didn't find a lot of makeup. I was hoping to but no. But I did find other great things so let's get started. Uh, my birthday was actually March 28th so that was last Saturday but we're gonna have another kind of like a birthday celebration this time with my family. Last Saturday it was Ariana's grandest concert with Justin Bieber so we were there and now tomorrow um, my mom's on lips by the beach so that's where we're gonna spend the day and so I thought this was cute to have it's a little balloon with happy birthday I saw a lot of these and the two that I liked the most was this one and another teddy bear that also said happy birthday so it was kind of hard to pick which one the tree or the cupcake I let my mom choose and my daughter and they both picked the cupcake and it's so cute so I thought for a dollar it's great so I got it I also found these birthday cake cookies they reminded me of those grandmother cookies that come in a blue bag but this one has like rainbow sprinkles they're not sprinkles but the inside the white stuff which I forgot how, what it's called but it has different colors so I thought this would be great to have tomorrow for my birthday celebration and the good thing is I checked the ingredients and it has no dairy ingredients so no milk or eggs it does say that it is processed in equipment that uses these ingredients but this doesn't have any of those ingredients so this was perfect so it is vegan for the cake we're gonna be using these plates so I got these and I was able to find this table cover I wasn't sure I was thinking about getting either white or this one and my mom chose this one so we got it and I think it's cute it's different and has this black and white design so we're gonna be placing this on my mom's my mom's aunt table <laughs> And we got these plastic utensils and I think they are really nice. They look like real utensils. So we got two packages. I'm not big on using like plastic things, especially for food, you know, BPA and all of that stuff. But it's okay. You're not going to die from using those things, right? We got these little candles. Um, they're fake, <laughs> but they have the flickering effect. And I remember seeing these back in December when we had a Christmas dinner and on the table they, they had these. I'm not sure if they were the same or just similar ones. I guess they were, I think they were smaller. But um, I remember seeing those on the table and I thought it was real flame. So I thought these would look cute on the table and it is safe to have around children or pets. So awesome. Now moving on to the things I got for Lynn. So she was there with us so she was able to pick things that she liked so one of those she picked this hula hoop and she's into purple um, when she was smaller she used to like blue a lot but now she's into pink and purple so she picked this one for the beach she picked this up we're gonna be taking this tomorrow like I said my mom's on lives near the beach just a block away so we're lucky to have 
family member that lives so near the beach so we're gonna be taking this for Lynn so she can have fun we also got this and she picked purple so it's just a splash ring and again a dollar so this is great it says for four years and older but she's gonna be six soon so I I guess this is gonna fit her I hope so and my mom got for Lynn crayons because she's out of crayons she has here in my apartment but when um, they take care of her at their apartment she doesn't have so we got these and my little Lynn doesn't have glue sticks she has been using mine so this time again because she saw the purple cap the purple bottle so she picked these out I just wonder how good these are and it comes with four sticks so let's try it and little Lynn is all into rainbows I saw these stickers and I asked her if she wanted to take them home and she said yes so I got these for her I even told her you can even share with your friends at school but she said no they're all for me and then I found this again rainbow colored hearts this is washi tape and she is into using tape for almost everything she likes being so crafty I know we got one more but I think my mom took it home I can remember what the pattern was but it was also with different colors but these is the hearts as you can see also for Lynn we got this balloon as I mentioned she likes everything rainbow and she saw this balloon had different colors so she wanted to get it and it says happy birthday and even my little cat Mishy starts playing with balloons right now she's looking at me with the balloon <laughs> But Lynn just likes balloons just to punch balloons. That's all she does with the balloon. Punch, punch, punch. Right now, in school, Lynn is learning about coins and just counting money. So I thought this was great for her to learn. And learn about the coins. The penny, nickel, dime, and the quarter. Isn't this the 50 coin? I think so. Yeah, the half dollar. There we go. It's on the back. This is going to be great to practice for school. And we also saw the Kit Kat chocolate. Lynn has been liking these a lot. So this was 89 cents, I think. So we got this. Now moving on to the things I got for me, which wasn't a lot, just a few things. And they are all nail related. And so I got these. I thought these were pretty. This is just um, black and white. And then this one has flowery kind of like a French design as you can see and then flowers on a few of them and this one I got this is my favorite one as you can see it has a mixture of everything it has variety it has black and white and silver and the chevron going on which I have been loving this pattern even my Facebook cover design and my YouTube cover design has this pattern and I also got this super dry which is supposed to be like sedge beaten which dries your nail polish so quickly and this instant nail glue and the reason is because I from now I'm starting to create my sister's gift so I'm just visiting different stores and if I see something cute starting to get it for her, her birthday is until May but I want to be ready a month ahead it isn't until May 13th so I'm gonna decide one of these to give to my sister okay now moving on to the things I got for the home so really quickly I went to grab these from the fridge and these I had no idea the Dollar Tree also offered food items I've never seen other girls talking about food items so I noticed they had like snacks and milk I don't know milk but they had other things in the fridge in their like vegetable section they had this sweet potato fries and I hope they are yummy they are gluten free and I cannot wait to make these and next time I'll try their veggies they also had bag of six veggies and my little Lynn picked this out so let's see how good these are it is dairy free well I just noticed that now it's fat free gluten free peanut free and dairy free so even I can eat this Awesome. it's gonna be vegan I also found this and this is to make brownie um, like you said I found a lot of 
things like food related but I always read the ingredients and this one I was surprised that it didn't have any dairy no egg so this is actually vegan so I cannot wait to make this and maybe I can add like walnuts or pecans I don't know maybe some type of nuts but it looks delicious it looks good so I cannot wait to make these my mom always tells me that I should have extra plates and the reason I don't because I try to be eco-friendly as possible so I don't buy a lot of like plastic or paper plates but I found these and these are the squared ones so I think these look modern and cheap to have if I ever need them so I'll have these I was able to find my favorite brand of scotch tape and this is the transparent one I just like using the one that looks kind of um, whitish but this is it comes two in one package and it's a dollar each so this is great one is for Lynn she likes using tape in her projects and one is for me to keep just a package of napkins I like white napkins I don't like the ones that have the sign so had to get this and the last thing this is for my kitchen I hope it fits but I have an organizer and don't really like it. The utensils just go everywhere. So I'll try and see if this works for me. So I cannot wait to get this clean and try it out. Okay, so now moving on to the things I got in Whole Foods. One of the first things I always have to get is this coconut water. I just love it. I think it's the best quality coconut water. It is raw, it is fresh, and it's from the Philippines. I just love it since the moment that I tried it. I have a friend, I introduced him to this, and even to some of my family members, they don't like it. I know everyone is just different, but he said it tasted like pool water. So, <laughs> I don't know, to me, just tastes so heaven-like. I just love it and it keeps me hydrated. I love the taste and it's got a pink color and it's natural. So I always have to get these. I just love it. I also got this Kite Hill Cheese Almond Milk Based. I tried this one time at Whole Foods. They were giving samples with this. It was kind of like a date so a date sandwich so it had a layer of date then this cheese and another layer of date so basically they just cut a date in half and placed this in the middle it tasted so good um, I'm not a big fan of faux cheese like um, vegan cheese and I don't know I just don't like cheese in just in general so I tried this one and it kind of reminded me of cream cheese the taste so I can oh I also noticed they had three flavors this is the blue packaging they had a green one any red one the red one I did not like at all um, the green one I didn't get to try they didn't have a sample I don't have any recipes in mine now but I can see myself eating this and to celebrate my birthday tomorrow I was looking for a vegan cake I always go to this Whole Foods and I always see vegan cakes and the day that I need one they don't have so I had to pick something else and what I was able to find was this is the brand of cheese this is well known in like pizza I buy their pizza I bought it before and it's so good and their cheese but I don't buy it often and I was surprised to see this brand have a dessert section i never realized or i just never paid attention that they offer like cheesecake and other like cupcakes and cakes and so i got the strawberry they also had chocolate so this is dairy free gluten free soy free and it looks so delicious so i cannot wait to try this tomorrow it looks so yummy another thing they have for a limited time at whole foods are these beauty bags and this has a value of $60 but they have it for $18 this is made with 100% organic cotton and they support in not being part of the human trafficking and so I got this actually for my sister and this is a little card that it comes with so this is the list of all the products that it comes with and let me show you really quickly so the first one is this microdermabrasion scrub and it's a really small bottle and it smells so good it's kind of like lime but it is a citrus scent also in the bag is this cell stimulating mask a cure for your skin so I had never 
heard of this brand before. It also comes with this shampoo. It is Blackberry and Coconut Milk Shampoo. It comes with Pacifica eyeshadow and this is the only thing that is different in all the bags. It will either come with an eyeshadow or a lipstick. It comes with this Trilogy Vital Moisturizing Cream. This is great I guess for applying before makeup or just to hydrate your skin and this Gabriel Mascara um, this brand I do use the foundation and it is great it is pricey but the quality is awesome and it comes with a $5 off coupon for BioSeal which is great for the hair skin and nails and the bag comes in a really nice pattern as you can see it is so cute has Whole Foods in the bag the zipper comes with this and it says hello beauty so I thought this is so cute and the last things that I want to talk about that I got online is this camera it's gonna be my new camera for blogging and the reason I got it is well the main reason was because I wanted a camera that was blog friendly but it was waterproof so this one as you can see has the flip LCD so that is awesome. This is Olympus. It is the top model. This is great for just going outside for adventures, camping. This is waterproof. This is dust proof, shock proof and this is great for just going to the beach if you want to film underwater if it's gonna be raining you don't have to worry about putting your camera away you can still blog and you can be seeing yourself made for a selfie if you're taking videos this is great this is the Olympus they just came with a newer model and the other one it's basically the same the only difference the new one has GPS and Wi-Fi integrated this one doesn't have that but um, I just wanted to try this one and um, I'll be checking it out and see how it works another reason buy was this Joy Epilator. I already used this one. I remember getting this a week prior to giving birth to Lynn so my little Lynn is gonna turn six so that is how long I've had this. So it's been a long time and it still works great. I use it for my underarms but this time I wanted, I've been hearing and I've been wanting this for so many years almost since the time I got this. The difference is, as you can see, this is small. Let me open the box. I haven't even opened the box. So here they are comparing both. As you can see, the size is not much of a difference. Um, the big difference is the number of tweezers this half. So this has almost double the tweezers of this one. So this reduces the time and the times that you have to glide it on your skin. So this is great for your legs, your arms underarm bikini area and the reason I decided to get it is because a few months ago I decided for the first time try a bikini wax and oh my gosh it was so painful I knew it would hurt but I didn't know it would hurt that much from that day I decided that I was gonna start doing my own bikini line not the full bikini wax but I started using this in my bikini line and the first time it was so painful but now that I've been doing it maybe once a week or every two weeks it doesn't hurt it hurts a little bit but not as much as the first time so I wanted to get this because I get tired of shaving every few days and with this it's just gonna reduce the time of the times that I have to shave so it's gonna be great for that for underarm legs arms bikini everything so I cannot wait to start using this and I feel like I should make a video just reviewing these the just comparing them the advantages and disadvantages of both if you're interested in hearing about these epilators let me know and that's it you guys I know this video has been long but I wanted to share my first experience at the Dollar Tree and the things that I got for my birthday from Whole Foods and a few of the items I got online like I mentioned in the beginning of the video I was gonna talk a little bit about what is going on and and I think the last video that I recorded, I actually filmed a few videos in January, but I never got to edit them. And that is because my laptop.
laptop, it decided that it would not work anymore with Premiere. I use Premiere to edit my videos and I did the whole system restore and ever since I did that, Premiere just never wanted to install back in my laptop. So since then, I had been trying to get that fixed on my laptop. I didn't want to get a new laptop. Long story short, I ended up buying a laptop, an HP brand new laptop, but when I got it from the first day, it didn't work so I had to return that back but what took long the customer service would take like three days five days just to answer back like one sentence so that just took a long time to get that return so the second time I ordered a laptop it was that same design so it was the same um, laptop just different website I, I think the first one was from Amazon the second was from eBay and same thing it wasn't working so I guess it's just the laptop model that I got so this time just a few days ago I purchased a Lenovo is that how you say it Lenovo laptop I decided for that brand my sister just got a laptop and it's been working great she likes the laptop and she read really great reviews and that is the same brand that I had been using at work so I know it's really good I just decided for for a brand new laptop but I like you said initially I didn't want to get a laptop but I miss editing videos and I just miss you know thinking about a video taking the time to record it and edit and just upload it I miss that this is the longest that I've been away from YouTube and I just wanted to explain what is going on I have not forgotten about YouTube no it is my goal to continue and be able to provide more content I know that the last few videos were like hauls and that was because I was preparing myself for Christmas so that is a time that I usually go shopping often but other than that I barely go to stores I stay away from stores because all you do is spend you think you're going for one thing or two items and you just come home with a bunch of items so I just stay away from stores but I do have other ideas as like making very like fashion related videos like maybe outfit of the day or makeup looks or recipes so I have a list of ideas that I'm gonna be filming so I have that I just need to get my new laptop and get my old videos out of the way from December so that's gonna take a lot of time to edit those videos but I am looking forward to that I just cannot wait I don't have a job at the moment so it's gonna be perfect in the meantime to just have that extra time just spending my time editing because I miss it so much and I think that's it for now it is kind of late it's almost midnight but this is the time I have been out the whole day and my little Lynn is sleeping so I thought this would be a great time to film and I cannot wait for this video to be up and the previous videos that I have and I'll see you until my next video thank you for watching and I'll see you guys bye